69 this and 69 that It's on my and on my yacht It's looking for me, you can hit my jack I done got my address, you know where you can fine tune at Hey, what's good y'all? Welcome back, vlog 96, 69 So with that being said, I figured that I shine a little bit of light And I'm basically gonna shine some good light I'm not gonna, you know, down talk or down play little homie I'm basically gonna, you know, speak the truth and speak from what I've noticed and give you guys a different perspective on what I see. Alright, bro, so I'm gonna be dead honest with you, dog. When I first saw your video, your video was like on the suggestive feed. And all I saw was a little homie with some colorful, like a rainbow hair, and he had a green, it was like a soccer, like a soccer top, like a zipper john. And he had some colorful hair, and then he had the tattoos on his face. It was like blah, 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 six, nine and everything. And to be honest, the tattoos didn't really, didn't throw me off because I'm from a neighborhood where people usually get tattoos on the face or tattoos on the neck or tattoos on the arms or, you know, we usually, you know, do that around here. So that's not what really caught my eye. It was more or less the fact that he was a Latino or Hispanic uh, musician with colorful hair, in my opinion, the hair didn't really match the whole the whole green, you know, sweatsuit. And then he was rocking the red bandanas and then he was with a whole bunch of minorities, like hood dudes, like from my way, you know what I mean? Like, he wasn't with a whole bunch of Mexicans, he wasn't with a whole bunch of vatos. He was with, with, some, with some Gs, you know what I mean? So, when I saw that, it was like, I'm like, is this clickbait? Is this a parody? I wasn't sure, like, what it was i'm like okay let me let me click that john and i clicked it and listen when i clicked that john yo i know what to expect homie came on and he was like he just started screaming he was like real angry and i was like yo like it was like it was different first thing i noticed was that it was different he didn't have one Spanish dude next to him. I'm like, yo, bro, like, that ain't nothing new. Cause like I said, one of my best friends growing up is African-American, you know what I mean? So it's like, that was nothing new to me. In the hood, when you grow up in the hood filled with, you know, minorities and we grew up in poverty, you make friends with all different cultures and all different races. So that wasn't the surprising thing. But I think it was more or less that, that he was a young dude and he was like, you know what I mean? Tied it up. Doing this thing with the colorful hair, the colorful hair really made him stand out, be like that whole, that whole, you know what I mean? He had like jerry curls with like the colors and then the colorful teeth. So right, when I heard it, you know what I mean? It took like, I would say a few days to get adjusted. I was like everybody else. Believe me, I'm from the era of bars. I'm from the era of lyrics. I'm from the era of like, I love the Slick Rick and all the old school 80s music. And then I love the 90s, and I love the Nas, and I love the Tupac, and I love all, all the lyrical stuff. And I can listen to some of the new lyrical stuff now too, like the J. Cole, etc., etc. I love, you know, I love bars, I love uh, texture, and I love uh, context, and I love detailed description and metaphors and vocabulary. I love all that stuff. I'm from that era, I understand that. So when I saw this, I was confused. I'm like, uh-oh, what are they doing? But then I started listening to Homie and I started watching the interviewer too. Well, the thing with America is they only want to be your fans. They want to be on the on the bandwagon, on on your, on the wave when someone like, I'm not going to say no names, but when someone co-signs it like, yo, shit is hot. Mm -hmm. And they be like, nah, I've been on Takashi. Like, you know what I'm saying? And then I started listening to his vocabulary and, 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 and watch his presence. For me, I worked with kids. So anybody that know me, I worked with youth. I worked with youth his age. I worked with youth 21, 19, 18. I worked with youth that been tatted up, that's been locked up, that's been through, 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 through all types of court systems. I've worked with all types of youth. So he reminded me of one of my youth, one of the youth I worked with, minus the colorful hair. When I saw him and I heard him in an interview, I said, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. This dude is smart. So you see someone in New York would rather support somebody from the... From, from 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 somewhere else from somewhere else mm -hmm. but they homie rap and never support their mans mm -hmm. he not no dummy and i'm supposed to be looking over my back while i'm performing you know what i'm saying i'm not about to get world star on the world star stage right. blood like you know what i'm saying he not no dummy bro be yourself and ride through the hate use it use the negative energy and make it into positive and you could always do that if I had him in my classroom, 
I would tell off the back he wasn't no dummy. He was a young businessman, a young entrepreneurial spirit, a young business mind who had the most clever business strategy ever, in my opinion. Most people gonna get offended. I'm not, bro. I know my music is trash. It's just hot trash, you know what I'm saying? Most people may not accept it as a business strategy. They may not even call it a business strategy. But I'm telling you, that business strategy. Good. Nigga, none of my change is fake. Nigga, how would I make $150,000 change? I would just take... The next day. I'm getting on the stone, bro. <laughs> I'm getting on the stone, bro. Nah, man, come on. Where'd come you get your jewelry from? All his cover arts, all his 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 clickbait, all his video cover arts, with him being a light-skinned brother, a light-skinned gentleman, with a bunch of tattoos, the colorful hair, not to mention his tattoos say 6'9". You know what I mean? So, like, that's what really sells him, and that's what makes him separate himself from everybody else. Because, yeah, there's a bunch of people with tattoos. I know the industry kind of got the whole cliche thing since Lil Wayne and all of that. Everybody got mad tattoos. And people have color hair. But this dude got the whole bag of Skittles, the whole rainbow. My man tasting the rainbow. And he got it on the grill and all that. You know what I mean? And again, guys, he's young. He's 21 years young. That's another thing that you have to take into consideration. Yeah, most of these artists are young. Uh, I'm not too into the music scene, but I know, like, the, the Lil Uzis and the Famous Dexes and all them dudes. Them dudes are young. That's the new generation. That's what y'all listen to. And that's the generation that he's in. So that's the market that he's selling to. And he fits that demographic so well. And then the thing is that the youth are embracing him. And if the youth can embrace you. Don't let nobody tell you that, yo, you can't do nothing. Cause that's, that's what, you know what I'm saying? You want to be a doctor, you want to be a cop, you want to be a lawyer, you want to, you want to, Create your own business, you're gonna do that, you know what I'm saying? Right, so, so, really quick, this money is gonna go to y'all snacks, okay? So, I'm gonna make a list of certain snacks that y'all want, and it's also going to tricks, all right? You will last. Your projectile will be 10, 15, 20 years longer than somebody who isn't touching the youth. Because I tell you from experience, I worked with the youth. The youth will support you more than the adults. They say, yo, you got a mouth that will leave you dead in jail, but if you follow your dreams, bro, I'm telling you, you can go the adults provide hate and you have to realize that his career has blew up this far just because of the hate just because of people not liking him people there's grown men marching the streets looking for me like that 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 drives me like i got these niggas missing work you know what I'm saying? They not taking care of their kids. They them niggas marching the streets looking for a kid with rainbow hair. Like, how stupid could you look? Um, Prejudging the rainbow thing. You know, people calling him, you know, all types of, of, of false, you know, accusations, judgment, uh, you know, gay and, 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 and this and that. And he's a fake this and he's a fake that. He's a fake gangster. He's a fake. What does it matter to you? What does it matter to you that he's gay? What does it matter to you that he's a fake gang member? What does it matter to you? I mean... I understand that to the real G's, to the real G's that rep it, it would be disrespectful and offensive. So I do understand that. Yo, what about that rainbow hair kid with the six nines all over him? Mm -hmm. Boy, that kid was never supposed to make it. How the fuck he got the whole city behind him? Mm -hmm. how, how he got all these bloods and crips <coughs> together? How he got all these gangs, the Latin Kings and, and, and the Trinitarios and all these... Why, why they making remixes? How he got this whole city on fire? Mm -hmm. How he did it? Why? Because I had support from day one from mm -hmm. my mans. So I'm not sure how far he's really been throwing that part up. And the hood I live in is Crips and Bloods. So if I'm if I'm if I'm with Crips and I'm with Bloods, yo, I didn't come home to this year. Like you know what I'm saying? So if people's like, yo, you running with Crips, I'm running with Crips. If you people say you running with Bloods, I'm running with Bloods. Or I'm running with both. I'm running with both. Like they both my homies. But as far as all this colorful stuff and the tattoos and why he got tattooed, tattooed over 69 times and, and why he had a grill and and why he had to be like that. So what? You guys helped them blow up. My man is a businessman, bro. Stop with all that worrying about how someone else look, how someone else dress. If I knew that all I gotta do is act silly and get under your skin and you keep coming back, don't you think I'd do the same thing? Wouldn't you do the same thing? They will never touch me, man. Niggas can't lay a finger on me, man. The little homeboy doing it for himself, man. You know, he knows how to carry himself. Because the game has already thrown so much weight on me, so much negativity on me, that nobody wants to see Takashi win. Um, I watched the interview or two that, you know, people were referring to. When people comment under my pedophile and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? I, I'm so numb to it.
right? Because I know what I am and I know who I am, you know what I'm saying? And homeboy was well spoken, you know, despite the 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 abracadabras and the I let my nuts hang, right? You know what I mean? Letting them letting them balls drop, you know what I mean? But like that's all his business, bro. Like at the end of the day, like what does it matter to you? What does it matter to you? Does it affect your life any? Because to be honest, you guys gotta remember, what he's doing has been repeated over and over and over and over again. His formula is just regurgitated in a whole different method, which is what makes him entertaining. I don't know, I mean, you know, everybody wanna taste the club, you know what I'm saying? Y'all see, see me right there, man, I'm like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> um, he was actually filming a movie, and this part of a movie. Because a lot of musicians get it twisted. A lot of the old school people my age and my era older are mad because he's young and they say he's representing hip hop and it's fake hip hop. And, and and that's not real, real rap and the colorful hair and this and the that guys it's no longer about bars about metaphors about can you rap do you have you know skills do you have punchlines that's over it's sad enough to say it's over guys I'm I'm sorry you know and I mean it's there the cultural roots are there but look at the views for the videos that are lyrically inclined that are that are that are metaphorically and educational packed with, with with messages and then check out some of the videos that that are just party songs and just hot sauce chicken wing hot sauce chicken wing like you know what I mean that should be a vegan chicken wing but let's not ruin this video with that the industry is about what is entertaining are you entertaining or not if you're not entertaining, then what do we need you for? Can you retain the audience? Can you cause controversy? Suck my stupid. Can you get under people's skin? My gangster, nobody has touched my gangster yet. Yo, one day it hit me like I was thinking and I'm like, bro, bro, my man is a living troll. My man dyed his hair like a troll, bro. I stand out for the kids that can't stand out for themselves, you know, like stand out for themselves and get bullied and and deal with a whole lot of cyberbullying, deal with a whole bunch of school bullying, kids in group homes, kids in, you know, detention centers where... Bro, for Halloween, he don't need no costume. No offense, bro, no. Yo, if you're watching this, no offense. Bro, listen, young boy, young boy, listen, do your thing, dog. Stay out the way and stay out of trouble. But I know some people are thinking, what about all the sexual accusation charges, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Dudes, me or you don't know anything about it. All we know is what's on the paper, and I didn't even look into that. You guys probably looked into that more than me, but all you know is what's on the paper, which is what was regurgitated 12 different times before it was put down on paper. I won't understand if I was his age, you know what I'm saying? And I, I caught that charge, and, and and it would look it would look disturbing. Like, you know what I'm saying? It would be like, what the f***? But I think the media don't see it like, yo. You know, I heard a little homie mention something about that he took a plea deal because he was a young boy because he was 18 and she was probably, you know, in her teens as well. Guys, between all the baby formula and all the steroids and the food and everything, these teenagers are blowing up. So if little homeboy, it, have you seen a picture of him when he was 18? Now you're for real though, man niggas is pulling. He don't look like he does now. He looks like a little, no offense homie, like a little sweet young boy. I mean, I think we all do. And I peep game, I peep. People try to pull out pictures and, and, and videos of him back in the day. Like, I peeped this this one job. They, yo, they keep recommending this job to me. When I go and I upload on YouTube, they recommend this little job to me. They recommend it. So I'm like, all right. They recommend the John that say that he was at a little um, family Mexican party dancing or whatever. Hello. So? My man was, 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 was a teenager. He was with his family. He was... You know what I mean? Like, you ain't ever been with your family at 15, 16, dancing or none of that. I don't care how gangster you was. You probably gotta go to a family event. I mean, you if if you ain't like parties, you was like me and you was in the cut. If I had to go, I was just the cut, angry. I was, I was all angry because I didn't want to be at them jobs. But like, you know what I mean? My man was getting it in. And, all, and you know what I mean? At, at the end of the day, to, to each his own. Some people look at that as wimpy. Some people look at that, oh, it's damn, he's, you know, spending family time. At least he was social oriented. You know, at least he was trying, you know? My man said he was poor, and I respect that. Like with, with my stomach hurt, my mom, I, she would like lay over and, and cry because she hear how how screeching my stomach would get. Like you know what I mean? It was bad, bro. Like I used to wear sneakers out the garbage. To understand how poverty feels and coming from that background and being able to acknowledge it and to be able to give back to the community is a beautiful thing.
and little homie appears to have his mind in the right places. I always thought I knew what was the meaning of being poor till I got to DR and it showed me and gave me a realization of what being poor really was. <laughs> Lil homie and me got the same views against bullying. I hate bullies. Lil homie and me got the same views against name brand clothes. You never see Takai 69 in no babe. You cannot find no picture of me ever in no name brand clothes. Lil homie and me got the same month of birthday. You know what I mean? We both Tauruses. What's up, homie? You know what I mean? Homie. You know what I mean, homie? Blood. You know what I mean? Blood. Blood. You know what I mean? Blood. No, chill, chill. I don't, I don't. No game beef. No, no, no. I saw. Say, nah. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all. But much success to you, homie. Ain't no hate coming from over here, bro. Like, listen, I don't know why everybody feels some type of way. I don't know if it's because some people have been trying to go at it for 5, 10, 15 years and they've seen little homeboy come out the past three years and just, boom, blow up like wildfire. You don't know what struggles, stones, battles he went through to get there. You don't know what he had to overcome. Why judge? Why prejudge ahead of time? Who are we to judge, you know, one another? Like, you are no better than I. I am no better than you. You know, we are equivalent. We are the same. And if we all understood that, you know what I mean? You know, maybe he wouldn't be as popular as he is now. You know what I mean? Maybe as not as many people would have hated on him. But the hate has really built his career. Every song I put out is a hit. Why? Because I don't let people put me down. I'm just like, yo, this guy calling me a faggot. This kid is calling me a weirdo. This kid is calling me this, that, and the third. I f it. I'm all that. Let me go make a hit now. Because my thing, the way I make a song, the way I make a song, I get so angry, I go in the booth and I knock it out. So, like, to each his own. I mean, little homie, be safe when you're out there, dog. Don't be like, you know what I mean? Don't be, don't be, you know what I mean? I mean, you hold your own. You know what I mean? I got brothers that's older than you. I got little brothers that's older than you. I got little brothers that's probably age. My little brother's probably listening to your music. My old students probably listening to your music. Either way you look at it, Everybody acknowledge this kid, yo. I, I have been forced to pay attention now. Yeah, of course. Yeah. When I mean everybody, I'm talking about people that I grew up listening to. I'm talking about the OG musicians. I'm talking about the middle generation musicians. I'm talking about the now generation musicians. I'm talking about all era of, of musicians, all genres and all generations. Kashi, you know, with the yeah, rainbow hair. Yeah, I've been saying this Yeah, so yeah. yeah. But uh, I mean, me personally, I look at it like, if, if this how a nigga gonna go out, this how you coming in. I, you know what I'm saying? That's how I gotta be. You know what I'm saying? I, I respect it. Have to acknowledge this kid because, like, look at that Charlotte Lemain show. My man must be like, like, like a, like Miss Cleo, like a psychic. My man said it was gonna be the largest huge show, and I'm telling you now, this is gonna be like I guarantee this is gonna be your, you guys' most watched interview on you. I'm telling you now, it's the largest huge show. Like, bro, like, you know what I mean, like. What other young dude is turning them numbers around without any strong financial backing? He got some names, some major names talking about him. It wasn't until I watched it a second and third time that I felt like, damn, Takashi had control of this interview the entire time. You feel me? Whether you talk about me good or you talking about me bad, that's all publicity, bro. You helping me out. Whether you thumbs up this video, you thumbs down this video, you helping me out. You feel me? So if you coming from a hating perspective, thinking that leaving any negative comments are hurting me, Bro, you fuel in the fire. And it's like he said, he said, he said, all them negative comments, they just made me go in the studio and hit a banger. Like, how, like, constructive and, and, and productive is that? Like, that's such a good role model. I mean, aside from all the other stuff. They're like, yeah, go, 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 go. But listen, don't judge the book by the cover. Please, please don't judge the book by the cover. We don't, we don't know this dude's IQ. We don't know, we don't know if he was good at math. We don't know if he was dope at reading. We don't know if he was his science was his thing. We don't know, we don't know if he looks at the world and shapes colors. We don't know, you know how. We don't know anything about him. And like to prejudge based on his costume, based on his entertainment platform name, you know, because he does have a government, right? He does have a government name. Every musician has a government name, and every musician has a stage name, you know. Some musicians, fortunately, um, happen to be about the streets. You know what I mean? Like some dudes, they like, are abs. Some of them dudes, like they're from the streets. Like they started from the streets first. You know, there's musicians that got in the rap first and they rap about the streets, but they was never really in the streets. 
there's musicians that came from the streets who was on the corner, who was grinding, who went through all these struggles and pain and went through it. And they're actually putting their pain into the music, but they still even grind on the side. They still trap, they still do what they do. They go get a record deal and they flip that into a couple keys. You know what I mean, you feel me? Motivation, this young boy should be used as motivation that anybody can make it. That there is no excuse for you not being able to make it. Like, he is a perfect example, not to let anything stop you. You got six, nine tattoos on your face. Yo, so it's time what we done. I mean, making history, you uh -huh. know, you know, six nine New York City. Mm -hmm. We here, BK. Side city, you feel me? You know, we here, you know, toys out and everything. Toys out. Toys out and everything. <laughs> There's a moral to the story. The moral to the story is, you know, put your mind to it and you can do it. Um, and put everything else to the side. Forget about what everybody else say. Nothing else is important. Nothing is important. All that's important is what you think and what you think about yourself. If you think, if you think you're gonna blow, I'm gonna blow. You know what I mean? Because positivity out, you know, brings positivity in. Your like attracts like. You know what I mean? You want to make sure that the mind is you know, sending out positive radiant signals um, in order to attract what you desire, you know? And and in this case, you know, with success comes a lot of hate. With, with, with fame comes a lot of, you know, it's like if I blew up. If I blew up and I became the next, you know what I mean? You're going to have a whole line of people who, you know, brand new just don't like, you know, this character right here for whatever reason. You gotta, you know, take it. It's part of the inter you know, entertainment. Tunography entertainment. It's part of the entertainment, B. But I know I had to touch base on this because YouTube kept recommending me videos about Takashi and I'm not on Instagram to be in tune with everything. And most recently, they just recommended a video about uh, Gilly the Kid. Hey, yo, shout out to Gilly! 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 My G! My King of Philly! Yo, Gilly! Gilly! Yo, I grew up, yo. Gilly, yo, I listened to Gilly growing up, PD Crack, obviously, you know, Gilly and A.R. are like the top two goons of Philly, yeah, dog, like, but like, Oskino Vasquez and Chris and Eve, and like, I said PD Crack, right, PD Crack, ring, ring, Matt, go, ring, and like, Beanie Siegel and Freeway, bro, the original Philly Dream Team, like, now we got all these new artists and, and, and Philly, the Philly music scene is slightly different, but, Bro, like, when I saw that, I was like, listen. You know the Takashi sh you know what I'm saying? What the, let him do him, man. Drop your nuts, young nigga. I gotta touch base on this, man, before, you know what I mean? Like, I should have been touched based on it on Vlog 69, but, you know, I was um, trying to be helpful, too, and provide an educational tutorial. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, check out my educational stuff. Say like that, yo, what's up with Bull? You know what's up with Bull? You know what's up with Bull? Why haven't you subscribed yet? Why haven't you subscribed? Why haven't you hit that notification bell? <laughs> hit the notification bell. Listen, listen. If you a Takashi fan, you should hit the notification bell, bro. You might like the stuff I post. Hey, yo, <laughs> Gilly. <laughs> Top King of Philly, dog. <laughs> Give me an autograph, bro. Send me something, dog. Hey, send me a CD, like a like a major figure CD, dog. Like, Gilly, Gilly, from Gilly the Tune, Tune, like yeah, I mean, yeah. Gilly, give me CD. I said from from from, from Gilly the Tune. I put that joint right here, dog. Yeah. No, but seriously, dog. Mad blessings to little homie. Ain't no hate in my blood, dog. Continue pushing towards your success. You know whether you decide to keep pushing one year from now and 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 take a, a a break and you know go move to an island and just you know remove the tattoos from your face and just be on the low as little pablo torres or something under a little palm tree or whether you decide to kill the game for the next 10 15 years while you still got it in you um you know you're hispanic bless you young boy stay out of trouble you're a minority you're an american you you're a human being i'm everybody that know me no tune does not represent and no flag. I'm not like, ah, ah, heritage, pride filled with that. No, no, no. Like, I'm a human being first before anything. Like, I'm an earthling before anything. But aside from that, little homie, I mean, Spanish, like, we had what? We had what? Big Pun. We had, you know, Fat Joe. We had what, 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 what? We had, like, Sean Pop. Man, who, who who else we had? We, we what? Uh, we barely have anybody, bro. Like, French, French Montana. French Montana. Spanish, was he? French, French. No, he, 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 French. No, French Montana. French. We, we. No, but seriously, dog. You know what I mean? Bless little homie, man.
By the way, if some of the haters that helped build Takashi's career wanna come to my channel and hate on me, feel free to hit the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, hate on my channel, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, thumbs down, bad comment, bad comment, long hair don't care, ah, oh, Medusa, ah, oh, shout out to Gilly, King of Philly, tune up next, ah! Niggas don't touch my game. But spin that one more time. Niggas is dying to get that motherfucking 6 9 and spin it. I thought you said you couldn't be touched, nigga.